Let's see how crazy things get. Um, with this and car crash and uh, Bleachland, Beachland ballroom, it's interesting. I don't know if I'm sold on it yet. Like I get it, the band is kind of turning. They're changing course a little bit because I feel like the sound they've been sort of building on their past three records, like on Ultramano, I think they maxed it out for about as much as you possibly could like what are they going to do after ultramano make a fucking louder record you know um so this kind of feels like they're breaking things down going back to basics almost like you know caveman style making things just noisier more discordant simpler but like more savage in a way and and i like that in concept but i haven't like really been blown away by a song yet you know like i'm liking the vibe and maybe together it'll like wow me as an lp but when the lights come on It already has like a Joy Division vibe to it. Mm-hmm. 
Once again, like with the last track, like it sounds good. I fuck with the production. I like the vibe. Uh, on this one, obviously, it was like a very late seventies, eerie, atmospheric post punk throwback that they mostly did really well. I mean, they did the style justice. Um, again, cool ideas, cool sounds, kind of coming together, but it's not like culminating into a, a song that's like doing too much for me, you know. Um, Let's uh, try another one. Stockholm Syndrome. Tearing at his infant lungs, 
Yeah, no, I'm 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 on I'm on the fence with it. I'm on the fence with it. And again, I I don't think it sounds bad in in a way. Like after having heard you know like a several several tracks now, I actually I actually like the production a little bit more on this record than I do on Ultramano because you know I feel like on this record, the instru- there's a bit more space. There's a bit more space, so it's like you know the instrumentation really has like room to breathe. And I think, um, you know, Joe's vocals, when they're not as, you know, as, as in a blasted out mix, you can really kind of, I guess, kind of take in the nuances of his uh, performance a little bit. I think the sound of the songs is great. I think the sound in the mix is really good. Uh, I'm just not really like hearing any good pacing or songs or anything that's like all that memorable. Again, like Ultramano is maxed out as fuck, you know, maybe slightly to a fault, but like damn if like model village doesn't still play in my fucking head when I'm thinking of like modern punk music. That's great. Um, you know, obviously like Mr. Motivator, um, war like songs that, yeah, they're, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe they're going in the opposite direction here because it's like, I, I feel like, unfortunately, like, and this wasn't my issue with the record. I didn't have an issue with the record. I thought the record was really good, but it seemed like this, weirdly consistent critique of the album that I didn't fuck with. I thought it was a dumb critique, frankly, um, of Ultramano is that a lot of people just felt like it was too on the nose. It's sloganeering. They're just basically telling you exactly what they mean without any indirectness or symbolism or metaphor. And it's like, yeah, I mean, I guess they are, but they're a fucking loud ass fucking punk band. Like how many punk bands since the beginning of punk bands have done that you know um so i mean it seems like now they're just being indirect to the point where it's it's kind of i don't know taking some wind out of the sails a little bit i mean it's not terrible but um it's it's not really kind of pulling me back in you know what i mean but i don't know that's that's sort of how i feel i guess um but not to not to give a premature review or anything because obviously it's just sort of a raw reaction off of several tracks and the singles and everything. But I'm, I'm seeing some like, you know, some commonalities and I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, I'm just kind of picking songs I'm not too crazy about, you know, just, uh, by chance. All right, guys, it's time for a banger. <laughs> 